Hello and welcome to another What's New session. Today we're going to be looking at what's new in Revit 2024 and we're going to be focusing on the new features for Revit structures. Okay, so first off we have the new bending detail feature which creates a live bending detail that we can add to the schedule. And because it's live, if something in the model changes, then the detail will update automatically. The, the detail it produces are customizable. And when we put this in the schedule, the rows can be resized to suit. So let's have a look at placing one of these. So I'm in my schedule. I go to the fields. And what I need is the bending detail. And in, so I'll just add that. Hit OK. So in the actual schedule, it will just show up as bending detail. But when we switch over to um, a drawing sheet with this bending detail schedule on, we can see there we have the image down this side. So what we need to do at this point is obviously adjust these rows as it's a little bit too cluttered. So with this selected, we come over to the properties and you'll see we have resize rows. So if I click that for the image rows and then I can define uh, a value for this. So I'll, I'll try maybe 20, uh, maybe a bit more, 25. It's not too bad. Um, and then obviously I could go in and, and start playing around with the, the size of the fonts. But um, at least we've now got this option where we can place the bending detail or and have it update automatically. Continuing on with this feature, we can also add the bar bending details onto a view. So I've got my view here, I've got some rebar in it. All I need to do is select the rebar, the bending detail tool appears on the ribbon, I click and then I can position my bending detail next to my reinforced element wherever I need to and we just click to place it. If we take a look at the, the detail, we select it, edit type, and then we can configure how this detail looks. On to our next feature then, we have flip rebar set direction. So sometimes when we have some rebar placed, we might need to add some additional bars to that set. Now I've got some bars here. Um, and they've been positioned with a number and spacing, and I want to increase the number. So if I add some extra bars in there, now at this point you can see the bars have uh, been added in the wrong direction. So if I just undo that, what we can do now, select that set, if we right click, we now have an option to flip the rebar set, and now when I add some extra bars, they add to the side that I want them to add. And continuing on with the new features around rebar, um, if you have some freeform rebar um, and the alignment's not quite how you would like it, we now have a, a new feature where we can align the rebar vertically or align it to its path. So I've already got some rebar in this shape. If I select the rebar in the properties box, we now have uh, the bar alignment and we can use the vertical option or you can put it back to align to path. This feature can also be accessed when we edit the constraints. So I edit the constraints for the, that rebar set and click the little uh, bar handle and you'll see you get the little toggle um, alignment tool and we can then align vertically there if you want. And the next new feature I'm going to look at is the ability to create curved analytical panels. Um, so to use this feature we go to the Analyze tab and on the panel 
drop down there, we now have this panel by extrusion. So if I activate that, it then gives me the little sketching tools there so I could pick start end radius arc. And all I need to do is pick a start point, an end point and define my radius. This will also work if I were to um, change the work plane. So let's just change the work plane on that. OK, so I'll do another one. Panel by extrusion. Again, start end radius. And there we go. And with this release comes a number of analytical load enhancements including load creation, load scaling, and area boundary identification. Loads are always hosted, and they can be placed anywhere on their host, and any loads placed outside their host will be marked 